guys so my name is Naomi and today we're gonna be doing a tutorial it's a mini tutorial it's a very easy look that we're doing today um, I hope you like it um, if you're not subscribed subscribe um, and yeah <laughs> if you want to see how I created this look just keep on watching and like at the end or at the beginning whenever you like if you like this type of um, tutorials so that way I can know um, if I do more or not okay anyway if you want to see how I created this look just keep on watching hi guys so we're gonna be starting applying primer the primer that I like is the no problem primer from touch in soul we're gonna be applying this all over the the face. Um, I'd be concentrating in my T zone and in my cheeks because uh, I have texture in that area. Then we're gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and Color Pro Line. We're going to be applying this all over the face and blending it with a beauty sponge. I'm going to be doing this with a beauty sponge because I like, uh, for this type of makeup, I like uh, more like coverage. If I want a more full coverage, I will use a brush. Typically, I use the full coverage of this foundation when I'm doing a glam type of look for now this is a daily it can be an everyday look so I want the medium cover so that's why I'm using the a beauty sponge after this we're gonna be applying the Maybelline instant age rewind in color medium um, I'm gonna be applying this under my eyes and the bridge of the nose and in my T-zone. I'm gonna be letting um, dry a bit because it, it has better um, coverage if you let it dry at least for a couple of minutes. Um, that's why you see me dancing. Um, then we're gonna um, we're gonna blend all of that with the beauty sponge. And, um, yeah, we're going to be just blending that. And after we blend that, we're going to be setting the eyes. So let's blend all of this. <laughs> then we're going to be um, setting with the Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder in the color light medium it's gonna be very lightly because i have very dry under eyes so i just want to set it so it doesn't move everywhere and last longer during the day then we're gonna be concentrated in the eyes with the makeup revolution the emily edits um, palette the one and specifically we're gonna be using a base of color the combination is midwest and do space I'm just applying this base under um, I'm sorry on the crease so I have a base to blend the primary color um, we're going to use a very coral pinky shade. That shade is Love Cry. It's also from this palette. We're going to be applying and building this color in the crease and then all over the lid. We're going to be starting um, applying the color in the crease to dip, deepen the crease and blending that crease so that color will be more um, faded on the top of the crease. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to remember all the things. Um, and then we're going to be applying that uh, all over the lid with a more deepened, um, for a more deepened look on, on the lid. So that way it's dip in on the lid and then it will be fading up 
um, so this is the primary color again it's just a very simple one um, shade type of look um, it's a very um, springy type of look and then we're gonna be applying cupcake that's a shimmery shade to add um, another di dimension to this but again very simple and on top of the cupcake we apply the super shock shadow from color pop in the color vela um this is for because i like a more shimmery type of color over there then we're gonna be blending the laugh cry color under um, the eyes so we can connect the look with the same that we did on the top and then we're, for the inner corner highlight we're going to be using Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in the color Stella it's a, just a simple um, pencil eyeshadow so I just use it for the inner corner and I tighten my waterline with a brown um brown pencil and there we just applying um bronzer that's a pretty vulgar bronze B in the color bronze mannequin just to bring back the color to the face we're going to be applying that on the cheeks and uh, on the top of my forehead. Um, and then we're going to be also applying it under the chin so that way I can hide some of the um, chin. We're gonna bring the color and blend, blend, blend. Then we're gonna be applying the Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the color crown of my canopy. It's a very pinky shade and a very, very um, inexpensive, affordable um, highlighter that I, I really enjoy. It's very good when you want it to be very. Um, natural it can be very natural if you want it to be very blinding you can build it up and it can create a very blinding effect i like to apply my nose highlight with my fingers that's what you saw there and then i do my brows off camera then we're gonna apply the laura geller bake and blush Big blood and brightening um blush in the color tropic keys just to give it a rosy uh, color on the cheeks and we're gonna be setting all of that with the morphe continuous setting spray and we're gonna let it dry so we can continue with eyelashes and the lipstick the eyelashes is gonna be uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in black. I apply like um, three coats of this and I the end the lip gloss is the Tardis Lip Paint in Insta Famous. Again, a very simple, very concentrated in the eyes. And this is the look, guys. If you like it, please subscribe. Let me know in the comments. And if you like this type of, of um, tutorials, and I will see you next time. Okay.